I was in last week's homework anyway. All right. All right, now as a reminder, you should usually not draw this. All we need is these two, and I think these are simpler. You should usually just draw parallel to the axis and through the center. We only went through this because you might be testing the light directly. If you're tested on this directly, you need to know what happens to light that goes to the focal point. But otherwise, these two light rays are easier. Okay. So here we have a mirror. Here we have a bulb, and obviously the bulb is going to be shooting out light rays. Mm -hmm. The bulb is going to be shooting out light rays. I'll draw the bulb as a dot. So here's the bulb. And what's going to happen to the light rays? Well, they're going to bounce off the mirror and then go out here. Now, let's say we want the mirror to produce all parallel outgoing light rays. We want all the outgoing light rays to be parallel. Where should we put the bulb? So why don't you start by drawing, what would the light rays look like here if all the outgoing light rays were going to be parallel? Draw with, with the picture. What would the light rays look like if all the outgoing light rays are parallel? So draw, um, say, draw an incoming light ray and the outgoing light ray. And then show the outgoing light ray. So this is convergent. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Now, actually, if the light ray came in along the axis, it would just bounce off uh, straight over there. But why don't we draw? So let's say we could draw like this. This would be, say, uh, incoming. And then light rays would uh, bounce off of this. And this is a hard question. Maybe I'll give you some help with this. How is it possible so, for all the outgoing light rays to be parallel? Well, um, the only way that all the outgoing light rays can be parallel is if they're all horizontal, if they're all parallel to this axis. Well, what does it take to get an outgoing light ray to be uh, parallel to the axis? Where should the ingoing light ray, what type of ingoing light ray do we need for the outgoing light to be parallel to the axis? Um, at an angle. Exactly which angle? What, so think about the different types of light rays that we have. We've got the P, the M, and the F. So it's like yeah, we know that the F ray through the focal point always comes out parallel to the axis. So we want all the light from this bulb to go through the focal point. Okay. Yeah. If all the light from the bulb came in through the focal point, it would go out yeah. parallel to the axis. But how can we get all the light from the bulb to go through the focal point? Usually, only some of the light goes through the focal point. And all the pictures we've seen so far, just one of the rays went through the focal point. The only way to get all of the light to go through the focal point is to put the bulb on the focal point. Okay. If you actually put the bulb on the focal point, then the light is automatically coming from the focal point. So if this is F over here, all of the incoming light rays are coming through the focal point. So now, they all bounce off parallel to the axis. It doesn't matter whether they're coming in at a steep angle or a shallow angle, because the bulb is actually at the focal point, all the light it produces is coming through the focal point. And so all the rays come out parallel to the axis. And that was pretty tough. All right. But uh, again, these are kind of more typical of the exam type questions uh, that you might see. They're not just going to be plug and chug with the yeah. lens mirror equation. All right, that was kind of a tough application. But anyway, again, we saw, uh, and remember again one more time, most problems we don't bother drawing this F ray. We don't bother drawing the ray to the focal point. But we need that for some problems when the problem is specifically focusing on that. Usually, we should draw the P and the M rays, parallel to the axis that goes out through the focal point and through the center of the mirror. Okay, uh, so there we go. I guess we're out of time.
Obviously, you might want to try to review what we went over, so yeah, we have some time to really go over uh, the optics. I think we did yeah. some pretty hard problems, yeah. but again, they're, they're typical of exam problems. That's good. A lot of the time when I'm working with students, uh, we don't get time to do the, the realistic problems, so I think yeah. we did some realistic problems today. Okay, okay. good. Thank you. Thanks.